A cult figure in Queensland, now a pioneer for the Pacific. Put it down, put it down, shuffle in. Let's go. Incredibly recalled to the Wallabies seven years after his debut, now the Fijian-born Giants an ambassador for the ARU's Pacific program. It's like back home, so you know, um, if you don't play rugby, you know, people are just going to do stupid thing, get in trouble. A problem Solomon's rugby is trying to solve, but it's a hard road with more potholes than the local fields. Honiara's streets buzz with unemployed. Ideally, it's hoped rugby will help keep kids at school and they seem to be reacting. All our little fellas are inspired and I think uh, we, we, they're going to remember this for a long time. You don't just want to develop rugby, but you want to do both. Um, um, better education, healthy and stuff. The role Radiki wants to focus more on once his playing days are over. Not that he's willing to draw the curtain on his career anytime soon. At 35, he's eyeing another two to three years. I don't think he'll ever stop playing rugby. I think he'll still be playing rugby when he's grey-haired, 70 years old, he'll be playing some sort of rugby somewhere. But with a young family settled in Brisbane, he is red and desperate to recapture his number eight jersey. Hopefully um, in the next few weeks I'll turn around and, you know, have a few, ga a few good games. Now he'll have more than Queenslanders watching and cheering for the flying fro. Rowan Welsh, 7 News.